sing my songs till I think I'll burst. But I never forget that I'm a fireman first. I love to rock and I love to swing. But the thing I love best is when the fire bell rings. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, a just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sing? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault. We should have waited like my dad told us. <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we... Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Rolls. <laughs> Stay calm. We'll find him. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. I'm in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. Gotcha. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. 
Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Seal here. I, I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Um, oh, ha. Uh, yes, you may have to remove me first. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Now this is entertaining. Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery. Jump, my woolly wonders. Ah, help! No, chew, sheep. You haven't paid for that. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pansy. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pansy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast to set up a blockade. So, we'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa! Oh! Ow! Oh, my poor little vegetables. Got you. Oh, there you are. And you're hanging upside down. Awesome. Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Oh, oh no. turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Blood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydras. What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Huh? 
Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way and they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold, my dragon. Wow, it's amazing. It's Great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! Huh? Oh! And it's coming toward us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think I better call Fireman Sam! Fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you did, Elvis. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly set Fire Captain Steel's Nelly! Uh, I think you'll find that's Bessie. Fire Captain Steel's Bessie? On fire! I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches. And that is one thing you should never do. <laughs> It's all right, James. Nearly there. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever. It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. This car 
car chase scene looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crash. I can't do it! It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. Ah, uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut, tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. haven't got time to go back and get more diving gear. I'm going in. It's a very delicate historical find. Where? Is it behind that nasty, stinky pile of rubbish? That nasty, stinking pile of rubbish, Norman, is the wreck of the Ponty Pandy Pearl. The Ponty Pandy Pearl? Did you find the treasure map? No, Norman. Well, not yet, anyway. <clears throat> Thank you. People of Ponty Pandy, in celebration of our historical find, I hereby declare tomorrow Ponty Pandy Beat Day. Yay! I bet if I rummage through this lot, I could find the treasure map. Uh, no one's rummaging through anything, Norman Price. The president of the Newtown Museum is on his way to Ponty Pandy now. Who's that? Hmm. So these are the findings. Ah, and would you mind moving that lamp? It's shining in my eyes. Oh, uh... Uh, would you mind getting me a cup of tea? Huh? Two sugars. Uh, oh, 
well, of course. Hmm. Silas Price is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Dillis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help fire Captain Steele. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Dillis, I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. Where's Hannah? Hannah! I got Jupiter! I'm fine! Oh, flying down the street I was, headed straight for the harbor. Oh. around with your present, Uncle Sam. And caused such a big accident. Well, as long as you always remember that racing around can be dangerous, especially when you're near the water. On behalf of everyone in Ponty Pandy, I would like to present my brother, Sam, with a very special present. Not just to say happy birthday, but also to say thank you for being our own very special hero. It's uh, supposed to be Jupiter. Sorry, it uh, got a bit uh, broken. It couldn't be more perfect. Thank you all. To Sam. To Sam. Sam. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> won't be able to see what they're doing. They will now. Ta-da! Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some sand left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a... <laughs> I'm fine. Good thing we've got some sand left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Penguin. Come on, we'll show them. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. Oh, my floodlights! Off the ice, everyone! 
one. Ah, I can't. Ah, oh. Ah. 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 I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Kitchen is clear. Fire Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at the children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. Firefighter Air 100. at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the children are out, sir. But keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. Everyone back! Much for some quiet time. Sorry, Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam. We were so busy trying to be better than each other that we put everyone in danger. Just remember that candles must be kept at a safe distance away from other things. And always keep an eye on them. They can start a fire really easily. But I've got something to cheer you up. Candy apple! Yay! <laughs> what? And you! And ooh! Yes, you can have one, sir. You've waited long enough. <laughs> oh, yummy, yummy! Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe! Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, Sam. Electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. Sam! Sam! I did it! 
I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now granddad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. Hmm. I think I might know where I can get hold of some food. There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm! Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. I'm on the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to... Shh, I'm on a call. Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. Normaxo, look! Your phone call worked! It's a UFO. UFO? Oh, aliens! Huh? Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens. Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue center till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. Nice one, Sam. Totally epic. <gasps> it's an alien on the roof.
Oh no, oh no, how's it buddy? Do, 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 do. Oh. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! <gasps> Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! Just in time. With that fog, it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! What? <sighs> what I give to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! Hey, beauties! Oh, you found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! 
Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. Okay. And I'll need someone else. Arnold. Huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so you don't scare the horse. Roger that, Sam. like it is on the TV. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> now, don't you worry about anything. Yeah. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road vehicle. giving me another chance, Sam. You did really well, Arnold. You could come and work for me anytime. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to say, Norman? Yes. If it wasn't for that silly horse, I would have won. I mean, I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to beat James. But you didn't, though, Norman, eh? The badge goes to whoever used their map correctly. Well done, James. You are totally awesome. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Sarah. I don't believe it. Why is it always James? Ow, my name's James. I've got a map. Uh, Arnold, we might need you to calm something else down. <laughs> I can navigate. I can estimate our position using this map. Oh, forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> wow! Oh! 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 <laughs> Mamma mia! What have you done? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Ah, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. Ha. No, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> oh, my back. Mm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh no! F help! Fire! Oh! 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 Penny, 
We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. I'm glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch some soccer, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Keep going, Trevor. Now a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not? It's a kite. Oh! 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 Right, Trevor? I think so. It's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm happy to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, that Sam. Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and... It's back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Norman, James is the star of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers! Ah, oh. <laughs> My water lilies! My heron! My scenery! We'd better call Fireman Sam! Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. To the pool! James? James? Oh, no! Here comes Tom! And Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone!
everyone. Sam, we can't find James. He didn't do his froggy finale and he's He's not... locked in the change rooms. What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. <gasps> I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh no, what have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. No! Oh, Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. and the island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Hannah like the wind! <laughs> Made it! Yeah! Oh, of course you did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah. Hooray! Firefighter War, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Hello, Ponty Pandy! Well 
done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band. The Scrum Master 2000! Ta-da! That's place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back! Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. All out, Sam! to get to the mountains now. It's too stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. <laughs> Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. You can do this! Easy does it. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. I'm 
I'm sorry, Sam. I should have checked the weather before heading off. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to.